We are now in our ongoing series in Parshat Bereshit, and this one is called Moral Lessons from Mother Earth, and that M in the word mother is a small M. We're not making the Mother Earth into any kind of uh, deity. So what are we talking about here? Again, the Medra says it likes to do, take something that you learn in fourth grade and turns it on its head. Right? If you take the second verse in the Torah, everybody knows that that the earth was void and desolate. Medrash says no. If you take the simple meaning of the word, it means that the living, breathing entity called the earth was confused and befuddled. What was bothering the earth? It seems that the earth was comparing the reality of life on earth with you know, mankind and the animal world and comparing it to the world of the upper realms where the angels are. And he said, it's not fair. I see that up there, they're mortal and they don't have to eat and sustain themselves and they don't get punished. While down here, man and animals have to go and try to find food and uh, man has to toil to make a living and worst of all, I see that we get punished. In fact, the earth said, I feel like I'm going to be punished for something that man does. So what exactly was the uh, earth? The earth was correct. What was it anticipating? So the Medrash says that after eating from the uh, forbidden fruit, three people came into judgment and four were judged, right? Adam, Chava, and the snake were part of the, uh, you know, the sin of eating from the forbidden fruit, yet the earth was also cursed in the same time. It was punished at the same time for something else that the earth did. What did the earth do? Well, the earth rebelled against God because the earth, as a living, breathing entity, has free will. And exercising its free will, when God said, I want the bark of a tree to taste like the fruit, the earth said, Nothing doing. And maybe the earth was afraid that people would start munching on the tree and the trees would be in danger and, didn't have, and the earth didn't have faith that God would protect the trees. So the earth did not listen. Also, another opinion is that the earth actually went beyond what God said. God said, I want there to be fruit bearing trees and non fruit bearing trees. And the earth said, no, I want to make them all fruit bearing trees. And uh, so even though it seemed to be doing more than God wanted, it was not, it was also rebelling against God. And so the earth was exercising its free will and was punished, but yet the earth was confounded and confused. And it's interesting, we are sort of, have to ask ourselves, what's the point of this measures? We as mankind have like a front row seat. We're looking at this entity of the earth who can't understand why the reality on earth is different than the reality in the upper realms and not really getting the fact that because the earth has free will, there are different consequences. Because it has free will and it could rebel and in fact did rebel, there will be punishment and there will be consequences. And that's why Especially for mankind, we have to work to sustain ourselves. We're not, and we have to, uh, you know, make a living because the angels, it's not relevant to them. They don't have to work to make a living to sustain themselves. All they're doing is fulfilling a mission of God, and they don't, they don't err on their mission. So there's a whole different reality. The point I believe is that we also sometimes look at things that happen in our life and say. That's also tova bows. Well, that's also confusing and bewildering. Why did these things happen? So we have to understand that just like the earth, we have free will. And because we have free will, there's consequences to that. And God wants us to grow. And want, God has events happening that give us this opportunity to get messages from God and to, and to grow and change and be, live a more exalted life. That's really the point of everything. And that's why our reality is the way it is. And perhaps the earth didn't get it, but we should get it. And we should take comfort in the fact that we understand 
that uh, it's we're not angels. We are going to make mistakes and there are going to be consequences unlike the angels and that's why if life sometimes seems uh you know tov avo there really is an explanation for it and god is uh orchestrating it all for our benefit have a great shabbat take care